Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, I, I want to talk a little bit more about the Quad State Tornado that just happened. Um, the one that went through uh, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, and Kentucky. And uh, some kind of crazy things about it. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video. If you end up liking it, hit the notification bell. Uh, make sure to share this. This is a pretty interesting one. And then also make sure to leave your comments. So um, we, I, I think by this point, we've probably all heard about this uh, tornado and uh, in all the tornadoes. There wasn't just one that uh, happened uh, over the last couple days. Um, now, <clears throat> here's the path of the, of the tornado. Um, there's nothing too strange about uh, the direction that it took because tornadoes in the in the northern hemisphere they tend to go from southwest to northeast, right? Um, but what is very very unusual is how far this single tornado went, um, 223 miles, um, which actually is pretty close to breaking uh, a record. Uh, most tornadoes only go for three and a half miles, just for some perspective. <laughs> Um, so this was, and it was, it was very intense as well, uh, caused a lot of damage. So um, this video is about a comment left by Barbara Hale. So the credit goes to her. Uh, she says here, another strange thing about this tornado is that it may have run parallel to the path of the upcoming 2024 eclipse. That's what this video is about. Uh, she's right. <laughs> she is right. Good job, Barbara. Um, I'm going to go over that right now. Um, before I do, just another thing I I'd like to read. This is from Teresa Washington. She says, we just moved from Northwest Arkansas, moved to Northwest Arkansas from Utah. And uh, Teresa, good job. <laughs> good job on that. Um, I think more people need to leave these really high density uh, concentrations of um, members of the church, like these areas, and uh, spread out. because. Uh, you know, there's more missionary opportunities that way. You can strengthen the church outside of Utah. Um, so welcome to the to the Midwest. And uh, I'm sorry that this happened as soon as you got here. But thankfully, uh, well, let me just read the comments. So um, she says, and it was crazy. And we were luckily only on the outer edge of the storm. Uh, one touchdown a mile from our home. Yeah, that, that's a little bit too close to home, isn't it? Um, we were out driving in in it and it all happened so fast our kids were uh out with their young men's young women's group at play uh they ended up ended up having to go into the basement during the christmas play anyways i feel so blessed that no harm came to us and uh we were in shock that it was that it was so widespread um also what's interesting is that it took place right around the new madrid fault line well Teresa, i'm glad that you and your family are safe um Yes, that is interesting that it took place near there. Um, you know, my <laughs> my first uh, incident with a, well, it wasn't a tornado, but the tornado alarm went off when I was in basic training. We were on like day two of graduation, so our families were there. We had just said goodbye. And then um, we it started to rain really heavy. So we were running back to the barracks. And then uh, the tornado alarm on base went off. This was in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And uh, we went down to the basement, and it was like, it was dirt floor. It was like this reddish dirt, and it got all up in our shoes, which really sucked because we kept our shoes so nice and shiny. And even to this day, I still have those shoes, and there's still dirt on it um, from that incident. Like that, it just doesn't come off. It's almost like it, it's like stained into it. But uh, anyway, I'm glad that you guys are okay. Now, yeah, let's take a look at this path of... Um, the tornado and compare it to the eclipse. So uh, here's the graphic from Yahoo Money. Uh, here's one from Washington Post that has sent like the, the names of the cities. So uh, take a close look at this. L let me let me zoom in. Okay, take a close look at this and remember this. So it started here in uh, Arkansas, okay, and then it kind of nicked this tiny little, this weird um part of missouri that hangs down it went through there and then it nicked the the northwest corner of tennessee and then after that it pretty much just went straight into uh kentucky okay so this little bit of arkansas little bit of um missouri little corner of tennessee and then mostly in kentucky okay so that that is the path uh here 
here, oh, here, <laughs> sorry, here is the path of the eclipse that's coming up in 2024. Okay, so this is the outer edge of the path of totality. Like this is the path of totality right here. The red line is the center. The purple lines are the outer edges. So let's look at this outer edge line right here, and you'll see it's in that same area. Little bit of uh, that little bit of Arkansas right here. That little part of Missouri that hangs down, it goes through that. It nicks the corner of Northwest Tennessee, and then it goes in that same spot of uh, Kentucky. It, it's, the, it's the same area. It's the same area. Now, if you are new to this idea of these two eclipses, let me explain it really quick. So we have this eclipse that's coming up in 2024, and it seems to be kind of paired in a way with the eclipse that happened in 2017. So what happens is you have this first eclipse that went from coast to coast across the United States. It um, it went this way. It went over Jackson County, Missouri, by the way. It went over Independence, Missouri. That's the site of the New Jerusalem. And um, I found this uh, website that has a list of all the uh, cities that were in the path of totality. So here you have Independence, Missouri. And down here you have Kansas City, which is the you know, Independence is a suburb of Kansas City. So that first uh, eclipse went over the site of the New Jerusalem, which, by the way, uh, one way that you can think about it is that the New Jerusalem and then the Old Jerusalem were both in the dark at the same time, because at that time, you know, it would have been dark on the other side of the world. So um, that, that's an interesting thing. So in, in here you can see Missouri. So this is talking about Independence, Missouri. Um, there was also the claim that um, this eclipse went over uh, seven cities named, named Salem. Well, I, I don't know about that. According to this website, you have four. You got Salem, Kentucky, uh, Salem, South Carolina, Salem, Oregon, and Salem, Nebraska. Now, I'm not going to discount the other ones because I think that the other three may may have been towns that like ended up dying off or or maybe the, the eclipse didn't uh, go right over them. I don't know. I, I still think it's kind of significant that it went over four, you know, because Salem means peace. And so that was like the big thing is that the eclipse went over the seven Salems, which is like God's way of saying that he's taking peace from the earth and initiating a seven year period of tribulation, which uh, could be true. Um I still, I still don't know about this whole seven-year tri tribulation period because I think that comes from um, a lot of like evangelical interpretation of the Bible and the way that they see certain scriptures. Um, but, it, but I've done videos about that, so you can go check that out. But we do know that there's going to be tribulation in the last days, and um, these, uh, at least since 2017, things have been really interesting. Now, going back here, so that's the 2017 eclipse. Uh, the 2024 eclipse that's coming up, well, uh, already significant because it's, you know, spaced seven years between the 2017 and 2024 eclipse. Um, now we have this tornado that seems to have paralleled the path of the eclipse uh, for some reason. Um, and, and no, I don't think that it's just a coincidence. Um, the eclipse, it's going to travel in the same direction. It's going to go from southwest to uh, northeast. Um, <clears throat> okay, now this eclipse, it's interesting because uh, just like the first eclipse went over a very significant church site in Independence, Missouri, this one is going to go over Kirtland, Ohio, which uh, I have right here on that same website. This is eclipse2024.org. Um, so Kirtland, Ohio, Kirtland, Ohio, sorry. The eclipse in Kirtland will be total, and we've calculated the local circumstances. Okay, so it's going to go over Kirtland, Ohio, and then after that, it's going to go over Palmyra, New York. Uh, it says right here, the eclipse in Palmyra will be total. So two more very significant um, locations and uh, church sites are going to go be uh, within the path of totality of this eclipse. Of course, Kirtland, Ohio, that's the site of the Kirtland Temple, the first temple of this dispensation. And then um, Palmyra, where we have the Palmyra Temple and the Sacred Grove. 
Okay, so I, I tend to think that it's not coincidence. Um, <clears throat> you already have a bunch of other Christians that view this as significant just because it's spaced seven years apart. It makes an X across America. It crosses those Salem's and whatever. If they only knew what we know um, that's specific to our church with, with these significant church sites, they would lose their minds. I, I really think they would. It's like, it's so clear. It's so clear that this is significant. Making an X over America, which is basically modern day Egypt. This, like, this is where the power is nowadays. We're the, we're the superpower in the world. If we know that the kingdoms of the earth are going to uh, basically be destroyed at the second coming, uh, th this doesn't look very good. This doesn't look very good for the United States. Um, so anyway... That's what I, I have to share about that. Um, I, I, I can't believe, I, I can't believe that this path right here, of this tornado, this very, very unusual tornado that has broken records, um, goes along the outskirts of uh, this eclipse. <laughs> how, how, how is that possible? How is that possible? Um, sorry, I, I, don't, I don't think it's coincidence. So, again, thank you, Barbara, for bringing that up. Um, this is just another, it seems like a sign of the time. It, it already was, I think, a sign of the time, just because, a sign of the times, because uh, of the, the, the um, destruction in the records that it broke. But now, just on top of that, it parallels the path of the 20, 2024 eclipse. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah, that's just coincidence. Um so anyway, just another thing to think about, you guys. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Uh, make sure to share it um, so others can be aware of this. Uh, leave your comments, and then I'll put all these links below so you can go check them out for check all this out for yourself. And I'll talk to you guys later.